Hello beauties, it's Brittany. I'm on here to film my February favorites. I hope you all had a lovely, get it, get it, lovely February. Uh, mine was pretty good. We went to Vegas, so that we'll talk about that a little bit in a little bit when I get to my magical moments. Let's talk makeup and skincare. First of all, I forgot to men mention this in January, but it works out because I wore it in February too when we were in Vegas. It wasn't super, super hot, but it was warm, so I wanted to use a foundation that wouldn't slip off my skin in the heat, but also offer me some SPF. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus with SPF 50 plus. This stuff is so great. I've been using this in the warmer months for a really, really long time now. It stays put. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey. It offers that extra protection with the SPF. It comes in a pump, which is like the perfect packaging. I find I don't even need a full pump to cover my entire skin. The coverage is decent. It's not super heavy or anything like that, but it does cover up redness, um, little discoloration and things like that. I do use a little bit of a concealer when I find that I have specific Thick, troublesome areas but for you know warm weather vacations all that kind of jazz this is incredible I will definitely repurchase this once I finish this one up and I am in the shade fair I have two eye products that are new for me it first is of all is the Revlon color stay cream eyeshadow in the shade 7 10, and this little guy actually comes with a brush. I've actually been using the brush too. Uh, it picks up really good amount of product, rub, uh, rubs it, no, <laughs> applies it onto the eye really well and I find that I just need this brush and I don't need to like go in with another brush to blend anything out because this works kind of perfectly. I make sure that I clean it off before I put it back into its little, its little home here but I'm sure it's still kind of dirty in there anyways. Uh, but this color reminds me of Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze. It's not as dark, but it does have, you know, a bronzy kind of golden hue to it. Perfect for just kind of everyday sweeping on the lid. The consistency is also definitely different than the Color Tattoos. It's much more creamy um, and not as thick. The color is much more sheer because of that, but it does really last on the lid all day long. I work full time and so I have to have my shadows lasting all day long. I'll use a primer and then I'll stick this on my lid and it lasts throughout the entire day. The pigmentation does fade slightly, but you stand, you can still see the color, which is really cool. Next is the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Smoldering Satin and feel like I need to take a moment to appreciate this guy. I want every single color that Stila has to offer. Um, I saw Tati rolling it in one of her videos, so now I kind of do that every time before I use it. And it really, I feel like it's kind of just like shaking up a nail polish before you use it. It kind of spreads the product out evenly. Uh, but it comes in a doe foot applicator. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am such a fan of the magnificent metals in the little pot. I will do whatever I have to do to get that sucker to stick on my eye. This is that same kind of intense glitter, but in an easier package. So I just uploaded a Valentine's Day look a little while ago featuring this eyeshadow. So if you wanna see it in action, my kind of tips for getting it to stay, click the clack. Click the link down below or up in the cards here to check out that tutorial. Uh, but as you can see, so pigmented, so beautiful. I love glitter. I just want to like sprinkle glitter all over myself every single day pretty much. Uh, and this is everything. Everything my heart could dream of. That's what this is. These are so pigmented. I do recommend using a brush even though it comes in the little applicator already just because um, it does have a little bit of fallout. So you just have to apply this carefully, um, but you can make it work and it is everything and I want like every single color. Next is an applicator. This is the Beauty Blender Blusher and mine is dirty because I used it for my under eye concealer today. I really like this guy. I actually didn't get it for blush. I got it for under eye concealer because I have the Beauty Blender and the Mini Beauty Blender. Big Beauty Blender is too big for under the eyes. Mini Beauty Blender is just way too tiny to even hold. This guy is perfect. It fits under my eye just right. It also fits around my nose just right. This is awesome. It's the same beauty blender technology, um, but in a little, little smaller form. So it's like, it's the, it's the middle child of the beauty blender family. Skincare. I actually picked this up on Ulta kind of on a whim. My skin has been crazy. 
I don't know if my hormones are all out of whack or what the hell is going on, but my chin has been breaking out like I am 12 again. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I needed something to like get rid of the acne, but also just help my skin tone down because I was using like charcoal mask and scrubs and things like that. And it was just kind of irritating my skin and making it more inflamed. It was feeling puffy. I had so much red acne, saw this and it was kind of like the heavens came down and offered me this beautiful gift for my skin. This is the formula 10.0.6 keep your skin calm, skin clearing, skin calming gel mask, coconut and cucumber. And so it is a gel mask. You let it sit on your skin for 15 minutes. I'll do this in the morning if my skin's in particularly inflamed or in the evening when I have a little more time to keep it on. It's super soothing and feels cool and hydrating on the skin while also helping to combat my crazy freaking acne. I highly recommend this. It's quite inexpensive. So I actually talked my friend Melissa into purchasing a different version of this and I'm actually going to call her right now and ask her what her thoughts are on it. Oh, hey. Hi. I'm filming. Okay. Um, so, do you remember the name of the one that you got? Oh, shit. Let me grab it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what's it called? It is called Be Berry Smooth. Moisturizing Peel Mask. Be oh. Berry Smooth? <laughs> Be Berry Smooth. What surprised you about it? Um, it was a weird... Wait, when I just read you it? Do, yeah, just now when you read it. Oh, because it said blueberry and pineapple. Oh. <laughs> Mine has coconut and cucumber. Oh, that probably smells really good. It does smell delicious. This one actually does too. I didn't know, I think the pineapples surprised me. Okay. But pineapple doesn't really smell like it. Okay. A, yeah, pineapple, well, I just think of pina coladas. That's not, I don't know. No? Okay, anyways, did you like it? What did you like about it? And mm -hmm. would you recommend it? Okay, right now? Yeah, right now. <laughs> I really liked it. Um, it's a weird texture when you put it on. It's like a gel, but then it hardens and you can't like move your face. Um, but then you have to like peel it off, which is really creepy because it feels like you're peeling off like your skin. But when you after you do it, it's like super smooth. Like immediately, I felt a difference. I wasn't like dry, and it was super smooth. Um, I would definitely recommend it, and I kind of want to try some of the other ones once I use this. But um, this one says like. I think one to three times a week, but I used it a couple days in a row. I don't know if I was supposed to, but it was my skin was super dry, but it didn't like irritate it or anything, but I would definitely recommend it. Did you feel like it hurt at all when you peeled it off? No, it's just a really weird sensation. Like, okay. and it's clear. Like, so you put it on and it's like purple, but once you put it on, it clears. Uh -huh. it, it clears. It <laughs> becomes clear. And then you have to peel from the chin up. So it's like peeling like a mask off your face. <laughs> feels really weird and it looks really weird but like it does whatever it's supposed to do but um it doesn't hurt or anything and I even like I put it like you peel it on your eyebrows your it doesn't hurt <laughs> okay does, I, it doesn't like peel your I, eyebrows I, off no <laughs> so I know we got those animal masks to do on Tuesday but now I kind of want to like switch and like you use this one and I use that one okay maybe we do the animal ones this Tuesday and then switch next Tuesday glad you like it. <laughs> Bye. So I will have the one Melissa is talking about linked in the information bar below along with this one. This is not sponsored. I'm just a huge fan of how amazing these masks are and how inexpensive they are. So check the link in the information bar if you are looking for some kind of skin rescue. If you watched my goal video, you know my goal is 12 books a year and I have finished book number two and started book number three, so I'm off to a good start here. The book I read in February is called All the Bright Places and I have mixed feelings about this book. I really liked it. I literally could not put it down. Um, it's super easy to read. I think it's like a teen novel. I don't care. I'm in my 20s. I'll read what I want to read. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but I do want to let you know I was caught off guard. I was not expecting it to go the, the way that it went. There were tears involved, um, and I won't say anything further. It was a good read, easy read. Um, definitely got me thinking a lot about myself, but a lot about people around me. Uh, so if you are interested in, you know, a story of two teenagers in high school, um, one of which is kind of like the prom queen style, you know, really popular girl uh, who kind of seems to have everything 
ending up not having everything and then a younger gentleman who suffers from uh, depression then definitely check this out and I, I it was beautifully written I really enjoy it. I'm gonna check out more books by Jennifer not sure how to pronounce her last name but I'll have this linked below and um, if you've read it or if you plan on reading it let me know totally totally random but I got this at Target and I just feel like I had to share it with my fellow marble obsession friends um, this notebook was like $6.99 or $7.99 around that realm um, it's a marble notebook with gold on the side here and it says notebook in gold and it also comes with a little uh, marker thing bookmarker thing um, and so I've been making my little work notes in here some little life notes um, and it's my new a new notebook obsession I felt like I needed a new one in the new year and this one spoke to me and it has a little date section and a little schedule section or subject section and it's amazing and I love it and I'm obsessed and then my magical moment was Las Vegas we went to celebrate my brother's 21st birthday he had a ball we had a ball um, but I am very done with vacations for a little while I felt like two right after another was kind of exhausting actually and I needed like a staycation from my vacations um, but I'm definitely I'm ready to just stay home for a little while um, but actually Alex and I hope to be like house hunting soon so hopefully we will like be in a space of our own soonish so those are my favorites for the month of February. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. If you are new to my channel and have this is your first video watching, thank you very much. I appreciate you joining me. I would be curious to know how you found my channel. So if this is your first time here on my channel watching one of my videos, let me know in the comments down below how you found this. And if you've been following me for a really long time, or if you're new and you want to share this with a friend, I would love, love, love that. So if you do, that would be super cool if you tag me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. You can also send me a Snapchat letting me know if you did. And I will talk to you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye!